What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Wednesday Adams. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the eyelids. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and we'll bend that out toward the left. Let's line up the inside over on the right and do the same thing. Going up and then bending that out. Now I wanna tuck the side of the eyes underneath. On the left, let's step in. It's gonna curve this around down, just in towards the bottom. Let's go over towards the right, going all the way around, down, and then in. Let's add some thickness to the side of the eye. From the top, we're gonna step in. Just gonna taper this all the way down towards the bottom. And then we'll fill in the sides. Now from here, we want to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. On the left, let's step in. Just gonna curve around towards the bottom and just tuck that up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming all the way around and then back up. Let's add a highlight on the top left side of each eye. Going all the way around, just tucking that up underneath. Draw a short curve on the right side. And then we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black. Let's move up and draw in the eyebrows. We're gonna line up with the inside of the eye, step up, curve this up, and then bend that out, go to the right, and do the same thing. Let's add some thickness to the eyebrow. Starting from the outside, we're gonna go up in the middle, and then taper that down towards the inside. And it'll fill the inside of the eyebrows. Now let's move to the center and draw on the nose. We're gonna start over on the left side, curve the nose coming down, and we'll bend that up. Now let's step up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Let's step down in the center and draw on the mouth. We're gonna curve up and then down. Now we're gonna add the upper lip in the center, step up, go up and then down towards the left side, go back to the center, go up and down towards the right. And then from the corners of the mouth, let's step up, curve the lip coming down, and back up. Let's go out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, step out, curve this down. I'm just gonna bend that in underneath the mouth, go across, and back up on the right. Let's go back over towards the left side, bend this around the eye, and then in. Now we're gonna add some hair bangs. From here, bend this down and out on top of the eyebrow. Just gonna go across and pull that up in the center of the head. Let's add another strand. I come down and across. Bend that up towards the right. And bend this down towards the right side, towards the top of the eyebrow. And we'll pull that back up. Now we're gonna work our way around the eyebrow down and out, and then bend that down toward the side of the head. Now you want to add the pigtails along the side of the head. We're going to start back over on the left, come straight down, and then bend that in. And then from here, bend this up and in underneath the head. Now I'm going to see the earlobes along the side. Bend this out and up underneath the hair. Now you want to go all the way up towards the top and draw the outside of the head. In the center, let's step up, start with a point. Now we work our way along the left side. We go up, come all the way around, and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, and we'll bend that down. Let's go back to the left side. 
and then continue coming down and in. Let's just bend that down towards that bottom point. Now from here, we're gonna add those braids along the bottom. Let's start on the left side, curve this around that point, and then in, go to the inside, go all the way around, and then down towards that bottom point. Let's do the same thing on the right. Go all the way around, then in, then on the outside. Let's draw that same shape underneath. I'm just gonna go a little bit smaller as we come down towards the bottom. Add another one. Go a little bit smaller. And we'll do that one more time, adding a small one on the end. Now I want to connect these two points with a curve. Coming in and then back out. Do the same thing along each of those braids. Do the same thing on the right, curving this in and out. Let's draw the bottom of the braid. On the left side, bend this around and in, bend that back out towards the side. I'm going to go back up to the top, round up the inside, and then bend that out towards the tip. Now let's go back up to the top and draw in a large collar. We're going to start in the center, angle this down and out towards the left and the right side. And then from the bottom, angle this out and up underneath the head. Now you want to draw a character with the arms crossed in front of the body. From the top of the collar on the left, bend the arm going around and then down towards the elbow. Let's go to the left elbow, round this out, Go up and across towards the right. Now you want to draw on the top of the forearm, going in and then bending that down. Let's go to the right elbow, it's going to round this out and just tuck that up underneath in the center of the body. Now we're going to draw the fingers on the left side. It's going to round this out, go up and in, step out, it's going to layer the second finger and then third finger going all the way up towards the top and then down on the top of the arm. Now from this point, it's gonna curve the arm going up and in, go on top of the hand and do the same thing. Let's add the tie from the side of the collar, and goes down and in, flatten off the bottom, and then from the corners, angle it's down and out on top of the arm. Let's add the sleeve on top of the left arm. So we curve this around and then down. Step out and do that again. Now we're gonna tuck the waist in underneath the arms. Starting on the left, bend this down in the middle, and then back up. And we'll draw the bottom of the tie with a V. Let's go out to the side of the hips and curve the dress, going out and then down towards the bottom on both sides. Let's connect the bottom with a curve, coming down and then up. Now I'm going to tuck the feet in underneath. We're going to start in the center, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the heel. Now I'm going to draw the bottom of the foot on the left. Draw a curve coming down and then up. Go back to the center, do the same thing on the right. I'm going to go back over towards the left, draw a longer curve coming down and then up towards the outside of the feet. Now going back to the left side, let's draw on the top of the foot and curve this up, round out the foot. And I want to bend that down, aiming towards the heel, and you gap on the inside. And then on top of the foot, draw a straight line going up underneath. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom. We're going to trace these two curves along the top. So we'll step up, trace this in all the way towards the heel, and we'll do the exact same thing on the right, 
and we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's a cartoon illustration of Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.